As is tradition, I start the video with a loud sniff in your ear. Uh, and then I will show my gear. Uh, this pike is not impressive, so you definitely want to try to get a better one. And then some of these uniques, well, this unique I'm wearing uh, to force the Cow King not to drop a unique bone helm. Uh, if I get Eye of Etlick, oh, I don't think the Cow King and Nightmare drops amulets. Hmm, I'm unsure. But I would replace this with Eye of Etlick. Uh, this ring is decent, not amazing. It's good for poison resist, which is often neglected. And then Mana Steel with some bonus mana. The boots I can't wear because I don't have enough strength. Uh, I was using equipment to get strength to wear them. Uh, the boots are also, they're like okay. Cold and light are of course important resistances. The fastest run walk is uh, good. I like fastest run walk. All right, so there is, did I roll a new map? I always forget. Hmm. It's like my computer might be updating or downloading something because of the lag. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of lag. Unfortunate. Okay, I did not re-roll. I'm going to kill the Cow King over here. Um, and hope for better drops. In particular, I'm hoping that he will try to drop a pike. Now generally, I don't like hit causes monster to flee, but when you are weak or have a weak weapon, then it's good for crowd control. It makes them not try to attack you as much. Also generally, um, you don't want to have this many cows coming at you. War scythe, longbow. Because now it's very difficult to see which items dropped. I am overburdened. Now you don't really want all this clutter, you just want to see what did the Cow King drop. War Scythe, uh, I would check a Grim Scythe, but not a War Scythe. Bone Helm, I can look at. Let's see. I do like this. That doesn't help. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it stays. I don't actually know if it will stay on my cursor. Does okay. Good day. I am overburdened. No good. So you can see um, a little bit of how tedious it can get once you have an inventory full of uniques to force the cow king to drop more rares. Interesting. Uh, with switching out the town portal tome and having to pick stuff up to identify. So you might choose to carry one less unique, uh, specifically so that um, 
you have less inventory management to deal with. Bing. Let's get out of there. Ring is, of course, the ideal drop. Ring and pike. Boots are also useful. This ring is no good. But ring is good. So I'll try killing him over there a few times and see if he drops more rings. Um, it has to do, I believe, with the position, like his coordinates when he dies. Show me the pike. It is not a failed unique. Hello. As expected, because I did not see a multi drop. 22 to 90 damage is not good enough. Okay. So I'll keep killing him over here. As long as he keeps dropping me pikes and rings, uh, eventually I'll start getting dupes and then I'll reroll the map. Or potentially just move on to uh, questing in hell. Because I have demonstrated the idea, at least, of how this works. Even if I haven't necessarily demonstrated good results. Oh wait, I need to buy a Tome of Town Portal. No. Mm, Greaves is the only thing here. How about y'all all come over here? Okay, you can see... Oh, I don't have battle orders on. That's why. Or partially why it was so dangerous. Pick up those greaves now. No. 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 Hello. No. No. Thank you. So this is far from an ideal map. Uh, 
Thank you. No good. Cold res 49, light res 32. If this had fast run walk, then I could see potentially, or 30 faster run walk. I could see potentially using it in place of War Travelers um, on a build that wanted cold and light res. But it has no fast run walk, and so I would not use that over War Travelers. Ring or pike? No. Not in town. So yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I made my first, finally made a LEGO video uh, using, what was it, Elsa's Castle Courtyard. Good day. Uh, and that was pretty fun. So I will probably continue that, whether people watch them or not. Greetings. I think primarily what I'm demonstrating here is um, the importance of being able to kill the Cow King in only one world so that he always dies in the same spot, or at least approximately the same spot, when searching for particular item bases. I think after today, like after this video, regardless of what I find or don't find, uh, I think I might go ahead and do map rolling until I find one where uh, the king spawns right next to the red portal. Um, and just to demonstrate how that affects your drops. 
like why it's important to have a close spawn point, I guess. When you're trying to farm one item base, and in particular, if you're trying to farm SOJ. Giant axe. Town portals. Yes. The order welcomes you. You can also notice while doing this, the experience is almost non-existent. Uh, and so that's why I don't run cows for experience. Yes. What did I win? Nothing. 27 to 113. I think mine's better. Yes, 27 to 124 and mana steel and lightning damage. Now the 224 attack rating is nothing to scoff at. Um, but the mana steel is also very important. So probably I'll do this last run, then I'll try doing a video or two or however many and maybe give up or maybe not um, to find a cow king that spawns like immediately next to the red portal um, and then I'll move on to hell How long you stay here and try to get a better weapon just kind of depends on your patience. Better weapons and rings really is what I think you'll be primarily looking for. Yeah, so some pretty cool multi drops, but. Nothing actually useful today. Uh, go ahead and do this so that I don't have to remember next time that I intended to roll a new map. Okay, there's a yellow portal.
day. Greetings. Do I see a king pet? Yeah, this would already be like way too far for what I'm trying to show. Uh, this is what I'm doing right now is not recommended killing a random cow king far away from home on a map that you don't intend to keep nice Day. All right, I'm looking for town portal tomes. Thank you. Uh, maybe if the king was like right here, no. then I might keep this map, but he's not, so no good. And I'll just try more next time. No. But I won't actually like run around and try to find the king. I'm just gonna jump through the portal and see is he extremely close? And if not, then try again. It's gonna be relatively rapid map rolling. Similar to when I was rolling maps for Isual, and I would look for the stairs immediately. And then after finding the stairs, I would look for Visual immediately. So this would be okay um, in general for trying to farm, but not specifically trying to farm SOJ. I heard a ring. Oh, it's a magic ring. Because the king was like right here, and the portal is not too far. Uh, so it'd be an okay map for farming just rares, but if you're trying to farm specifically SOJ, uh, then I would not keep that map. 